Today, we're gonna to be testing the Powerhouse 757 generator from Anchor and the solar panels that go with it. Stick around if you wanna see all the appliances that this little thing can power at once and how can we use this power pack and the solar generators together to keep ourselves secure and safe when we're either having fun outside in the woods or when we need a little extra security in the house in case of an emergency. One of the coolest things about having battery power in the summer is being able to do some things in the back country that you would not normally do. And today, thankfully, it is summer. With the Anchor Powerhouse 757, you just plug this in. I've got my ice cream bowl here, and I'm gonna take and plop in my ice cream mixture that we made yesterday, so it should be good to go. We put in our special mixer and our lid. Turn on the outlet. And we're going. We're gonna have ice cream in about 20 minutes. So far the Powerhouse 767 is powering the ice cream maker absolutely with, without any problems. It's only sucking actually about 40 watts. And so we can make multiple batches of ice cream with this ice cream maker if we could keep the pot cold. Another great feature is that they provided this bag so when it sits out here in the hot sun, you can give it a nice cover and make sure that it's not overheating in the sun. I could also throw it back in the truck if I needed to. So next we're gonna talk about the Anchor Solar Generator that we can hook up to the 757 to give it more power. This comes in a nice briefcase style form factor. It even has onboard storage for all the cords that you need. So here is my solar charging cord. So we're gonna take that out and plug that in. A cool part to the solar charger is that it actually has power for regular USB or USB-C. So I don't even have to have the Powerhouse 757, I can power devices like my phone right from the solar panel. So we're gonna plug in here. So we're gonna, it has Velcro there, so I unfold it there. These are the unfoldable legs. So we'll unfold the legs and, and that's it. It folds out that quick. Now all I have to do is use the little, the little sundial here to make sure I've got this in the best sun possible. So we're just gonna take and plug it in. The solar sets up in like 30 seconds or less. It's pretty fantastic. And right now, based on how much I'm using, I'm only using 37 watts and I'm actually generating more from the solar generator. So I'm able to maintain 100% battery charge while I'm making ice cream. We've got the solar panel sitting in the sun. We're gonna sit in the shade and we've got the ice cream maker a spinning. So while it's doing that, let me tell you about some of the specs of the Powerhouse 757. I was blown away at these LFP batteries that they have. They charge up to 80% in under an hour. Like, I can't even hardly charge my phone that fast. So even if you only have power on for an hour out of the day, you get a huge charge. The LFP battery is so good, they're even giving it a five year warranty. And according to their website, the total lifespan of one of these LFP batteries is up to 10 years. So you can have the confidence that this battery will continue to recharge fast and many, many times so that you can continue to take it out, use it out on your trips, or keep it in the house for a really solid, reliable battery backup in case of an emergency. It comes with four USB and two USB-C outlets. It also has six regular outlets and a car adapter. You can plug just about anything you want right into the Powerhouse 757 with the exception of maybe an RV. I really like the design of the 757. It is built like a tank. It has this really nice aluminum outer body that really protects the battery so that no matter where I take it or swing it or if the kids drop it, it really is protected nicely and it looks pretty cool. With the LED light bar right on top of the Powerhouse 757, I can set this right on any picnic table or workbench that I have and work late into the night, cooking, doing whatever I have to while I'm cooking with my family, and we have plenty of light. The Powerhouse 757 will power that light for days on end. One important thing that you should know is this battery pack is not light. There are some people I've seen on YouTube that just carry it around like it's no big deal. Listen, it's 45 pounds. This is not something that you're gonna carry into the back country or in a backpack or anything like that. It stows in a vehicle pretty nice. It can sit in a mechanical room. It could go in a wheelbarrow. I just don't see it being this tool that you can just take anywhere you want. The 757 
stores 1200 watt hours of battery charge. So the real question is, how long can 1200 watt hours really power some of the devices around your house? And we're gonna show you right now. 16 inch MacBook Pro, it's 33 watts, which means there's 18 hours of battery life. The Bosch ranges from about 80 to 200 watts. That gives us as little as six hours on a charge. And who's using a Bosch for six hours? At 640 watts, we could power a vacuum for about an hour and a half. Instant Pot uses about 815 watts. That's enough to power the Instant Pot for an hour and a half. The freezer is actually really easy to use because the freezer doesn't run all the time. And the same goes for any refrigerator. So with a fridge or a freezer, we can plug this in and it will really drain the battery quite slowly. Right now it tells me I have 69 to 70 hours left on the battery charge. This is a really big chest freezer and it just turned on. It's only using, when it's running, 120 watts. Even when it's running and trying to get the whole chest freezer cold, I can still run it for seven hours. Even in a power outage situation, I could probably get the chest freezer to run off the battery pack for well over 24 to 48 hours. Okay, in the spirit of getting as silly as possible, how long could we run a Peloton on the battery? The Peloton is actually super efficient. We're using about 25 watts, which means we could run the Peloton for how many hours does that say? So we're gonna turn the treadmill on to seven miles per hour, and we're gonna turn the fans on. Treadmill's running, seven miles an hour, 1% incline, and all the fans are on. Let's see where we're at. So what we're getting is 380 watts, which means we could run the treadmill for two and a half hours. So we've got the TV powered right now by the battery pack. Okay, so the TV is using 200 watts, which means we could watch TV for about four hours. Because this has 1500 watts total output, that means we could power the treadmill and the TV at the same time. What if we needed to have a fan powered during a blackout? Maybe it's in the middle of the summer and I'm really hot. How much power does the fan use? All right, there we go. Slowest setting, 54 watts. Could go for 13 hours. 55 watts, and at the top speed, I'm at 55 watts for a total of 13 hours. The e-bike uses 100 watts. The battery pack has about nine hours worth of a charge left in it, and I think this bike only takes about four to six hours to charge fully. So I think that gets me two full charges on this e-bike. Okay, what if we needed to power some power tools? Let's check it out. We're gonna start first with the leaf blower. Okay, so the leaf blower uses 900 watts at full power and about 500 watts on low power, which means we could leaf blow for about an hour to an hour and a half. So what does the Dremel get? We'll plug it in. So it's using about 25 watts on low power and 55 watts on max power. That means I can power the Dremel for up to 12 hours. Next up, the jigsaw. The jigsaw came in at 250 watts with a total battery life of three and a half hours. Okay, air compressor came in at 700 watts, hour and a half battery life. Next up, shop vac. The shop vac came in at 910 watts for one hour battery life. It's probably also good to note that the Powerhouse 757 can only put out a max of about 1500 watts at any one given time. If you're trying to use some really power hungry appliances around your house, it may only be able to do one at a time. So I'm trying to give you a little bit of an idea how much each appliance actually uses so you can figure out roughly how many things can this power at one time. Some appliances around the house like fridges and refrigerators, freezers, uh, an ice cream maker, really don't use that much electricity. In all of my testing, I learned that I can use a heck of a lot more electricity than I can generate with a solar panel. That being said, you can daisy chain three of these solar panels together to add up to a total of 300 watts, which would really shorten the time required to give the 757 a full charge. But no matter what, when you're out camping, having electricity is super helpful. You just have to be mindful about how much you're using and how much you can actually generate. Two to 300 watts is actually pretty good. Even some RVs are only pushing three or 400 watts. The really big ones might have 600. It can be enough energy if you conserve it. You can use it in a hurry if you're not careful. Okay, so I think the ice cream is done. And look at that. <laughs> Ryan, guess what we're doing first? We are licking this beater somehow. That is a great treat for an afternoon out in the woods. I, Man, this is gonna be like better than a Frosty. It's like a, a Wendy's Frosty in the woods. Do you ever notice how much better things taste when you're outdoors? Well, this is one of the few things that you could do with a power pack. Let's say I had a propane stove. 
or a camp chef. This is not something that a camp chef can do. So we were able to run the ice cream maker for 30 minutes and we didn't use any electricity because the solar generator covered everything that we used and it charged my phone at the same time. This is one of the few household cooking appliances you could use on the Powerhouse 757 and be net positive on your power. Is this thing really folds up super easy. You just tip it up like that, take the cord, unplug it, fold it in on itself. Now all these straps can just kind of be folded up underneath the Velcro so they don't flop around, which is a nice little feature. We'll take the back ones and do the same. Fold it up all the way. And then Ryan's gonna throw the cord right inside. And it just sits in there super easy. And like that, and like that. We're ready to go. Well guys, I think that's about gonna do it for Ryan and I today. We are almost out of ice cream. We've eaten a lot. Have you had fun? I hope you guys found this video informative. I don't know if the Powerhouse 757 is for everybody. It is still a very expensive, premium, premium device when it comes in at the prices that they're coming in at. A gas generator is cheaper, hands down, than a power pack with solar panels. So if you're looking for the cheaper device, this is not it. But if you're looking for something that doesn't use gas and can be used off the grid, this is not a bad way to go, but it does come at a premium price. Thanks for joining Ryan and I today. We hope you guys found this video informative. And if not, we hope you found it a little entertaining to try some of the crazy things that we might try on a Powerhouse 757. We'll see you guys next time.